Welcome again to this continuation of uh, mobile app, uh, mobile game development using Unity. Today we look at sketching. Our app idea will be using Adobe XD. So make sure you uh, have installed, open your Adobe XD. Uh, if you get an error, click on the prototype to allow you to create an artboard. We select uh, that is the one that is compatible with mobile. Uh, we use 1080 by 1920. And select any. Uh, let's rename this as our splash screen. Then save our file in the computer. So I'm just overriding a file ahead area. So you start with basic shapes. Uh, we take a rectangular tool that will represent our background. So draw a rectangle to fill in the space and give it a background color. So we'll be using pro. Push. Then we don't need a border, so take border. In the splash screen, that's where we have our app logo. So we sketch where the logo will be. We'll be designing this in Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop. the font size to see our text that is a game logo we just guide us on uh, how the app we root uh, how our game will look like so center the text then on the same splash screen we will have um, developers detail and also our company detail and also the app name so we have our developer detail that's on the splash screen Here we have the name, email, and the company. And also we can have our um, company logo. Then we have the app name. This will come, come up with the start our design. Um, Go to prototype and you bricket the artboard. So add a design. Select the artboard and uh, the brickets. So this will be our uh, entry screen. The main screen where we have our level. So delete, we can have our upper at the top right corner, but as we design, we will make a choice whether to remove or to retain. It also helps our um, players to know which game they are playing. position it to the right then we have our data so this is where our level buttons will be so 
then we have our exit button when the player clicks on exit button the app will close don't need to go back since the, the first screen is a splash screen. so duplicate again we create our settings so from the level level screen we have a button to move to settings And we don't need that. We can copy from our level screen. That is a game logo. And we have various buttons for our settings. That is sound on, sound off. Then in our patches. And also reward ads. We also have a back button takes us back to the level screen duplicate that we create our main screen main gameplay screen so this we have the player boss and also back button to take us back to the level screen So this is a high level sketch for our game. So we also have uh, our game logo. So now we expand our sketch to add more details. So we have um, developer detail with European. This can be in text form or we can design in Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop and copy it to Adobe XD. So here you have a name, you have the company, the developer name, and the email address. We can edit them. Is there the European on the game? The design you are making is what we will. Uh, Translate into in our Unity. So we can uh, give our game name, mathematician or anything. It depends on what game you're doing. You'll be researching a good name for the game. the entry screen the main screen is we have the level buttons which will be designing in adobe illustrator and photoshop 
is that just dummy dummy data to guide us uh, like you have level one level two level three level so you have several levels mm. we can either have um, rectangular shaped buttons or you can have a uh, circular it all depends on your design and the, your taste as a developer so in our case we'll be using the common level buttons that is a rectangular to design in our um, using our adobe illustrator and adobe photoshop and copy to our um, sketch and replace the this dummy buttons this is just to guide us it's a sketch to guide us on how the game will look like So that's on uh, level screen. We have a back button and uh, settings. So when the player clicks on the back button, sorry, not back, exit, sorry, exit button. When they click on the exit button, it should close the game. The settings button will open our settings screen. So the buttons will be two one on the right and one on the left. During our UI design, we decide uh, where the buttons will be. They can be on top, they can be at the bottom, and can uh, be just below the level buttons. So we create our setting screen. So this will have a button to turn on, on and off sound, turn on and off music. You also have an exit button. So a uh, back button that takes us back to the level button. So here we have um, so done enough. So this will be used to turn off the sounds that play when the user matches the numbers or when they move um, our game playable. That's the sound you'll be either turning on and off. Or for those who may maybe don't want to hear the sound, we just click on the button and it turns off. Then you have a uh, music on and off to turn the background music on and off. Then these are separate. There are those who may want to hear just the music without the sound. There are those who would want sound without the music. There are those who would want to hear none of it. So you also have a button to activate the Pro version and also a button to disable ads.
na hizi vipata na patches na also reward ads and doing the actual UI design we making decision on where our ads will be displayed and also a button to reset the game so you have won all the levels and you want to restart the game you just click on reset and it clears the game data that is the settings screen then move to the main gameplay screen that is gameplay screen this is where the user will be playing the actual game so this we just have a, um, a puzzle of number the user can um, can select that matches if they match the numbers that you display then He wins. We create a puzzle. The just sketches will replace with actual game UI elements, which will be exported to Unity and loaded on uh, during runtime. Make a duplicate. And space even so that uh, we can see how the game will look like. So these are just uh, sketches. Right, all the buttons. <coughs> Sorry. So we first disable the background rectangle. So I disable that and select my buttons. I should be able now to copy the whole row and uh, copy paste. We make duplicate for the buttons. Let's create our puzzle in the dummy data. Then we replace uh, our buttons. Let's first enable our backdrop so that we can see our puzzle. Then we create a back button. This will take us back to the first select screen. Then in the same gameplay screen, we have a 
button to toggle sound the music at the top. So these are high level sketch for our app uh, for our game that you guide us on uh, the next design that's our UI design which you start in the next tutorial so keep tuned remember to subscribe share and like So we have our sketch ready, that's why they have sketch. This would have been done on a piece of paper. That would be a lot of work, but then you need to come and do your sketch in Adobe XD and start replacing the sketches with actual UI elements. You do this in our next tutorial. So stay tuned. Thank you.